Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has called on Justice Minister and Attorney General Jody Wilson-Raybould to begin the process of legalizing cannabis in Canada. In a public letter to Wilson-Raybould published Monday, Trudeau explained that the new government is guided by the platform it was elected on. He wrote that we have promised Canadians a government that will bring real change in both what we do and how we do it. Over the course of our four-year mandate, I expect us to deliver on all of our commitments. In the mandate letter, Trudeau outlined 15 priorities for the new minister, including the creation of a federal provincial territorial process that will lead to the legalization and regulation of marijuana. The ministers of public safety and emergency preparedness and health will assist Wilson Rabel in this endeavor, according to Trudeau. But the new PM's ambitions for criminal justice reform extend beyond legal weed. In the letter, Trudeau ordered the minister to oversee a complete overhaul of the nation's criminal justice system. During her term, Wilson Rabel, the first Aboriginal justice minister and one of only two Indigenous MPs, is tasked with reviewing changes in our criminal justice system and sentencing reforms over the past decade. According to Trudeau, outcomes of this process should include increased use of restorative justice and other initiatives to reduce the rate of incarceration amongst Indigenous Canadians, and implementation of recommendations from the inquest into the death of Ashley Smith regarding the restriction of the use of solitary confinement and the treatment of those with mental illness. Wilson Raybould must also undertake modernization efforts to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of the criminal justice system, which Trudeau says should include improved use of information technology, exploration of sentencing alternatives and bail reform, and the creation of a unified family court. Furthermore, with the support of other ministers and agencies, Wilson Raybould is expected to develop an approach to and a mandate for an inquiry into murdered missing indigenous women and girls, review our litigation strategy, restore a modern court challenges program, and repeal key elements of Bill C-51. Despite hundreds of campaign promises, many of which are complex, the Liberal government appears determined to fulfill its goals. While Canadians should remain skeptical and alert, we have good reason to be optimistic. In the words of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, who is referencing Sir Wilfrid Laurier. Sunny ways, my friends, sunny ways. This is what positive politics can do.